Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Hex. How you doing? This is really fucking loud, isn't it? I present to you, for your viewing pleasure, Vulture for NetHack. Let me, uh, let me, let me also not make that quiet. I it's so loud. Uh, Vulture for NetHack. This is a game that says Vulture for NetHack is an isometric graphical interface for the roguelike engine NetHack. Um, I like NetHack. Um, Nax, the yeah, act's interesting. Don't let's play it very well. It's one of my things I want to learn. Fuck me, this music is irritating. Okay, let's just turn it down some more. Um, yeah, the, it's, it's the, the interface thing. It's the remodeling of NetHack, the, the, the 3D version. I don't know if it's an open source engine or not. I think, I kind of feel like it should be. Um, but I don't know if it is. Uh, okay, Vulture of NetHack, isometric graphical interface for roguelike engine NetHack. Wrapping original ASCII text dungeon of NetHack, Vulture brings this great game into the graphical point and click world. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Vulture for NetHack. This was priced on... I just realized I'm still showing the black screen. Anyway, this was priced at £2.9. £2 it's been around since 2005. Um, now, as you know, I'm a big fan of road lights, but I've never got into NetHack. So I was like, I want a NetHack. I want some stimulation with NetHack. So... I almost want to, like, play a graphical mode, so I'm, like, kind of get a feel for it and then go back to the ASCII and play properly. That's that's the plan. So we're going to call myself Poop. So my name is Poop in this video. Shall I pick a character role? You know what? For the sake of this video, yes, but you should never do this. It's always awful unless you just, you know. Lately, your dreams have grown troubled. Is there any sound? If I kill the sound? Okay, the sound's only on the menu. Okay. Which is written in the book of... Okay, this is all stuff from NetHack. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now I'm going to turn it down. That weird 2005 MIDI. I don't usually hate it, but it was repetitive as fuck. Um, usually I'd use a numpad for this, but I've just remembered my numpad is literally linked to OBS as a scene changing device. So we're not going to use that. We're going to put that down. And we're going to try and use arrow keys, okay? Uh, there you go. See, instantly, given that I've got up, down, and left, right, you'll notice the problem straight away. There's something about this straight away that's kind of like irksome. And that is... Uh, yeah, you're kind of moving up and down in isometric grid. Like, you want to move diagonally. So you'd have to use a numpad anyway. Most people are going to want to use WSAD for these things. They go, what direction? Wow, really? Okay. Uh, there's no, okay, there's no WSAD. Okay, interesting point. You can use mouse. Yeah, you can use a mouse as well. So that's fine. Um, I like your character never faces you, which I think is cute. So yeah, here we go. So, uh, this is supposed to be the user-friendly version of NetHack. It's supposed to be I think a version of NetHack where you can just jump in and play and sort of learn as you go. I like the idea. So let's uh, have a little look around, shall we? Um, I'm not, yeah, I'm really not that familiar with NetHack. I've, I've, I've dabbled it, I've messed with it, but I've never been very good at it. Oh, what's this? What's this? Nine gold. Okay, we picked up gold pieces. Cool. Uh, okay, this horse is, why is there a horse following me? I guess this is a NetHack thing. I'd understand better if I knew more about NetHack. But there's a, a full on horse following me. Uh, let's go this way. Now, I just don't, this just doesn't, like, this is like, this is more fucking janky than, this is literally more janky than the ASCII version. I like, I like ASCII one thing, but this is like, it doesn't feel like an improvement in any way. So let's, uh, there is a chest, looted, yes. Hmm, it turns out to be locked. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do this. Boop. Okay, we've got 19 gold pieces. Let's, let's explore this way some more. Let's go this way some more. See, so it doesn't, it just feels like, as soon as, like, the only way I can, like, steer out without getting confused is, uh, is to use the mouse. And that just feels weird to use the mouse for a road like. Push this block around, that bolt's not moving anymore. We, no, okay, that, that, that's the end of the world. There's, there's no... Nothing to tell you at the end of the world this way, you know? It's like, it doesn't seem very clear. Um, I'll probably just imagine... There's another rock there. I don't remember that rock there on the way in. Oh, what's that there? Okay, so... Yep, yeah, this music. Fuck this music, right? Uh, I like there's a little map in the top right corner. Uh, there's some stats in the bottom left here on my faces. Fuck this music. It's infuriating. Let's just see if we can just turn this fucking... What? 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 Okay. Okay. Okay, this is the options menu. Set what options? Is there a sound? Oh, the sound's just... It's okay, the sound's just stopped now. Oh, no, it's looping again. <laughs> it's looping again. See, uh, I don't... Yeah, this is not engaging. Like, the joy of net... The joy of road... Like, I can't go back because my horse is in the way. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, a scroll labelled... Okay, something like that. Uh, and there's a dead end. That was a uh, good work now, hack. We have to wait for our horse to go now. There's a horse. Okay, the horse is the horse. I've teleported through the horse that time. There's this thing here. See, one. Sorry, one of the things about road lights that I like, and one of the things that I really like, is the graphics are always simple enough that you can you can interpret what's going on. Like when I play Cog Mind, um, I'm like like in my head, even though I'm seeing ASCII in my head, I'm like I know exactly what's. I've got like a whole a whole head cannon for this. You know, there's there's a definite narrative going on inside my bonds. You know, um, and 
in, in ASCII one, when I'm playing in pure ASCII, I'm like, it's even more so. It's like, it's because it's such an abstracted thing. It's like I'm looking at a magical map, not looking at a game. Uh, and then even Tome, uh, Tales of Magiel, um, it's like, even though it's a lot more of a combat-based game, there's way less sort of lore, more combat stuff, it's like the graphics are like simplistic enough that you can buy them as representations of another thing. Oh, look, we, we got a thing. We got, we got we kill the newt, apparently. Uh, but this game, what this game is, is this game is way too... What's the word? It's way too, like literal like that's that's a wolf that i know that that's a jackal so it's a wolf jackal thing that's a dude it's my, my class i'm a knight you know it's all like too close to reality to sort of be abstracted away by me i don't and he kind of ruins it whereas he, i've played i've since then i've played we'll, so we'll look at that next i played um nethack gl right or gl hack and that's again it's simply enough to be abstracted away so that i don't want your movement slowed slightly because you're load okay so we, so we open this quest okay Look inside the chest. A cream pie, a cake, uh, okay. Cool. Uh, cancel all that. So yeah, anyway, I think already, I've, like, it didn't take long to go, yeah, this isn't this isn't the game I want. This isn't a game for me, you know? I'll look there, I've had this, like, the boulder. I'm gonna push that boulder right now. Look, push that boulder. Okay, push the boulder. Push that boulder, look, there's no tomorrow. We'll get downstairs now. Uh, yeah, it's all, it's not, it's all sort of, like, not abstracted away. It just, instead of feeling like this awesome, like, weird transcendent experience that most of these road lights do it just feels really fucking janky it's weird and janky and like is that the imperial march playing in the background the music's fucking weird as well i don't need i don't just like give me some like menu music some like subtle menu music or a little bit of ambient sound and in the case of cogmon it gives me like the sounds of guns but i don't feel like i need like the constant fucking music and also the axe game people play for thousands of hours can you imagine listening to this fucking music for thousands of hours you can drive me nuts. Yeah, and like, maybe, I don't know, maybe if you've never played a road light, it'll make more sense. Can I just click it? Oh, I can just click where I want to be. Okay. I don't think I click turn by turn. I can just jump to where I want to be. Um, cool, I guess. Uh, yeah, not not feeling it. Anyway, but uh, this is this cost me £2 on Steam. Um, I'm not against paying £2 for it because it's like an interesting thing. And obviously, I'm making this video and, you know, I'll show people. And it's something, it's probably a talking point for people. Shrink the fountain, yes. Mm, a whisper of vapor escaped the fountain. You feel tough. Okay, cool. Is this, I damn right I feel tough. But like, I feel like if you're going to go this far with it, just go all the way. Like, like make like make like kick-ass graphics. Like, like, where's my inventory? Can I get my inventory open? That my inventory. So, uh, have I got any food? Let's let's eat this carrot. I'm eating this carrot. H for the carrot. I bet if you bet if you know if you know the controls, if you know all the keyboard commands, this might be less janky actually. I'm just I'm trying keyboard right now. I bet this is way less janky if you just know all the keyboard controls. But yeah, either way, at that point, if I'm going to learn all the keyboard controls, because they're janky, I just might as well not bother. I just kind of expected, like, when I, when I saw this on Steam, I just expected something a little bit more fluid, you know? Just a little, just a tiny bit more, like, polished, or way more, like, way more abstract. But, like, if I could just use my mouse to do everything, that'd be, that'd be one thing. But it seems like you have to use keyboard to do stuff. Yeah, and overall, this isn't enough to make me want to look at it again, you know? I just, like... I feel like I just may as well learn NetHack, and I will learn NetHack, and part of the video is that. Uh, so let's just get out of this quick, yes, just just, just out, go, goodbye. Okay, so now we've got, what we've got now is uh, is my desktop, or we will have, there you go, that's my current wallpaper. Found that on Reddit, loved it. It's, I, like, yeah, it's like, I feel like it's my soul. Anyway, uh, let's just go with GLHack. Um, GLHack, uh, this is, I've set this to float. Um, I've set this as a floaty window, so yeah. Um, Again, we'll say yes for the class and stuff. And there's the flavor text. Now, this look exactly the same, right? Because there's the horse. <laughs> it looks like a puppy. Um, there's the horse, and there's my dude, right? And uh, but this, I'm playing it entirely. Like, I'm playing this entirely on keyboards. Like I'm playing this entirely on keyboard. Uh, the mouse. I don't think the mouse. Oh, the mouse doesn't. Oh, you can use the mouse, but because like it's laid out correctly, I can use my mouse. Now you'll notice I'm walking around with WSAD. Now in the other one, when I pressed the WSAD, I started getting what direction do you wish to go? Which is, means that they've changed the fundamentals of NetHack. It's not just a skin on top of NetHack at this point. There's way more to it than that. But yeah, and I'm looking around here, I'm looking around here, look and see. Nice. And this is a this is literally all I need. Like graphic. Like once I've got a flavor for this, I'll go back and I'll play NetHack as a text thing, you know, because that's that's the way these things are really supposed to be played, I think. Is that something? Can I, can I move that? No, I can't. I'm sure, I'm sure if I knew more about how to play NetHack, I'd be able to interact with that in a way that made way more sense than what I'm doing now.
Okay, yeah. So I'm sure I'm sure this makes sense if you if you play more Nethack. But that's the way. Yeah, that's the way. This is the way I intend to play Nethack now, anyway. Um, and the Vulture just wasn't all that for me. Uh, but um, if I close that one, I can just go. You can just like like Nethack. You can just play Nethack, right? You can just uh, yeah, start game. You can just like look exactly exactly the same as what we've seen. I assume that F is my pony thing. I see it's usually X to inspect. Okay, I don't know. What I see again. I'm not familiar enough with this game to really say a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like this is where you should end up playing. This should be your end game for playing NetHack. Um, or any of the roguelikes, really. Like, even, like, Cogmine. Cogmine's close enough to ASCII already that I don't feel any desire to play it. And this, this, as soon as you understand what these symbols mean, it just, I don't know, it goes in my head and it abstracts. And I feel like I'm playing, like, a third-person shooter or something, you know? Like, I feel like, like, in my head, this is, like, this is, like, you know... This is like high-end dungeon warfare graphics, you know? But, like, because this abstraction is so far away. And I guess that's always why that was popular, you know? Um, I guess that's always why that was popular. But for me, it's, you know, the, the more, the closer we go to reality, the more I find it, like, I don't know, bothersome, I guess, is the word. Uh, it just it just ruins my, yeah, it ruins my immersion. Oh, God, I've become one of those guys. But, uh, yeah, Cogmine's the only one that doesn't. Cogmine's the only one that doesn't. Cogmine's just fine. Um... Yeah, I might, I might have a go at playing Tome in ASCII as well, because I like that. Anyway, that's been Vulture and uh, all the other options you have for NetHack. Um, again, the NetHack GHL package will, for, if you've got multiple screens, it'll fuck with your resolution. So just set it minus, I think it's minus, minus windowed is the uh, is the command for that. Um, there's, there's a whole man file anyway for GL hack. Um, and then normal NetHack, just run it on the command line, you'll be fine. And then Vulture, yeah, I don't know if you can get open source. I, I, I personally wouldn't recommend it, as I've said. For me, it just kind of breaks, like it breaks my like flow of the game. The isometricness just seems fucking pointless. It would have been better just straight on top down. Um, you could probably could have more of the graphics then as well. But I'll be interested to hear if people have other ways of playing NetHack. If, if people have got other ideas of what a NetHack, you know, of, of how, how to interact with NetHack. Because I feel like the scope for a really cool sort of like 3D environment for it, or there's like scope for like some kind of super high res texture pack, you know, 1080p style. Um, but so far I haven't found it. And given how, what a legendary game NetHack is, is it just because everyone's playing the ASCII like I expect them to be? I don't know. You tell me, guys. This has been a bit of a ramble anyway. I hope you've enjoyed my ramble. It's been 12 minutes of me just sort of fucking around and mulling over NetHack. Um, also, I play a lot of Morrowind, which is kind of like NetHack in a lot of ways, as in it's impenetrable as fuck. You need something to explain it to play. So, you know, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the videos I do and you want to see more of anything on the channel, just drop me a line. Jump into Discord. Let me know what you want to see or let me know if you want my opinions on something. Um, I don't know what you guys want to. You tell me. So just, you know, give me some feedback. And let me know what you want. Um, I stream like three times a week. Uh, you can come pop there over on Itch. Itch, Twitch. There you go. Um, itch and Twitch. They're just so similar in my head. Uh, and also, if you, uh, if you like what I do, you can support me on Patreon. And that goes towards me saving for a new laptop. So please feel free to jump on there if you'd like to as well. If not, just, you know, give it a like. Give it a share maybe you know maybe spread the love thanks for watching everybody goodbye